Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dota Up Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post the videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, I know this setup a little different, I know, but honestly, I was a little lazy and didn't feel like putting on my backdrop. You know, it's been one of those weeks where I'm just stressed out. <laughs> So I just didn't feel like doing anything. So I hope you guys don't mind the background. Um, these are my three big bookshelves that you really don't get to see too often. And those are my three cards. The middle card is my son's books. And then the other two cards are my books. That card over there has like a lot of my planners um, on it. Literally all of my planners and notebooks and stuff like that for like sermon writing is on there. And then books that I'm currently reading are on the white one. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind. I normally have my backdrop up when I'm making my Christian based videos just because all of these books, well, all of these books are really secular books, which are like fantasies. And then this bookshelf is literally um, this. Okay, this shelf here. These are books that um, I want to read immediately that are going to be nonfiction down here are all of my other christian fictions that are not biblical based so like my historicals my contemporaries my suspense um and what else ya sci-fi's are here bibles here this bottom row that you guys see lastly with the pringle can <laughs> is my son's like books and bibles that are christian related so yeah but i've literally just had a lazy week um i have been playing on my switch yeah early birthday gift i've gotten quite a lot of early birthday gifts my birthday is until june 3rd i'll be 29 but i got quite a few early early birthday gifts today as i'm making this video i actually received one of my most exciting early birthday gifts and i'm waiting for the second half to come can't wait but um i've been playing this baby literally every day i'm not being like excessive like other people can't do it but um i've been playing it well enough so we have that but this video is one that I'm excited to make because again I wasn't expecting this um so it's the title says it's gonna be another unboxing for the Delilah box now you guys know I thought that March was my last month getting a box um because that's what uh, me and Taylor Taylor Hill is the owner and founder of the Delilah box but um she when she contacted me she originally told me it was gonna be the December box that she sent me and then she was gonna send me um, three more boxes for January, February, and March. So I thought March was gonna be my last one, but you guys know from April's video that I got an April box, which I was not expecting at all and was totally grateful for. And I thought that was just it, but I got another one in the mail. Um, it's the May one. I've had this now for maybe four or five days. I'm almost a week and I've just been sitting on it because I'm just like wow I was again I wasn't expecting and I know a lot of you ladies are actually purchasing the box and are always asking me like if there's a code or anything you use not really I'm just doing I like I like I said I researched the company just because I wanted to share it with you guys because I know a lot of you are interested in reading biblical fiction or getting new Christian fiction or um, Christian nonfiction books to read so I just wanted to find other companies out there that do have good quality um, and do have books that they can offer and I ran across the Lila box so it was something that I just wanted to do for you ladies um and for myself of course because I love books <laughs> but um I never went into it thinking of making any commission or anything like that um so I'm very grateful that you ladies are definitely purchasing the box I definitely would say continue to support the company it's amazing they have candles now they have loose leaf teas tea bag like everything that I love they have soap I have um her goat milk soap on my shelf right now and that soap is amazing it cleans my hands it smells good like i didn't know that i would like goat milk soap okay i'm finding new things so i got another one and i love it so much okay the bag is like stinking cute it's just little dresses on a clothespin with little birds and flowers and i love it so much and these bags i do reuse um i use them as book sleeves I throw like my books inside of them like if I'm going out with more than one book I will throw like I can fit depending on how big the book is I can put two to three books in this one bag with my sticky notes and my pin pouch and walk out the door and have my books in here okay now this is literally just a fabric bag um if you wanted to be secure I would say probably not just like throw your stuff around but I don't throw my books around I'm very like cautious with my books so my books are my babies as you can see from behind me that's just three bookshelves and three cards mind you behind you guys are my other two bookshelves which houses my biblical fiction books as well as my other christian nonfiction books i got a book problem i envision no no lie let me just tell you guys i envision when i move um that i'm gonna have a room that's like an office library like literally just 
the walls are going to be surrounded by books and in the middle of it i will have my desk and everything because like i just i need i i need okay i need so um here is the bag we're gonna dive into this i don't know what's like i okay if you guys don't follow the delilah box definitely um go on instagram and follow if i'm not mistaken it's called shop grace and delilah right now um on instagram she did change the business name and the website everything will be linked down below pricing and everything will be linked down below i would say it all right now but you guys i'm being honest i'm just not uh what's the word i'm feeling good but i'm just tired if that makes sense like to mentally be thinking too hard <laughs> I know you most of you probably like don't make the video right now but um like I want to make a video but I, I don't want it to be like where I have the whole setup and stuff I want this to just be hoosa kind of thing you know stressful week <laughs> stressful week um so yeah if you're if you're a mom you know you know your kids okay especially if you have a toddler I have a six-year-old son and who <laughs> being mommy and teacher is just yeah we're gonna move on so here's the bag like i said there were different bags um so here's mine and i love it so much so going inside i'm not gonna look inside first thing we have is another one of these pens um and it's grace and delilah i like these pens a lot they're um gel pens i will show you guys right now i'm going to write hi but um these are gel pens, black ink and i think they're awesome so i i, I think you can never go wrong with a pen um, I'm not sure what the point is. It's probably a regular one point millimeter pen, but who knows? I don't know, and I I know that I like the ink, so I'm glad to have another one of those. What's this? What's this? Ooh, this is a Pen and Gear Chisel Tip Highlighter. Okay, it's an orange one that I have, so that's how it highlights. But um, here is the is that right? Yeah, Pen and Gear Highlighter and it's just click oh that's so cool and it's like a clip on it as well that is so awesome okay i like that i i like highlighters okay highlighters are amazing what's this bookmarks <laughs> i actually have this bookmark already um for i satisfy the wary ones and refresh everyone who languishes um it's jeremiah 3125 I actually made my own one of these and um, did it on both sides and laminated it. But I love this one because it has the little ribbon on it. And I laminate my bookmarks anyway, so this is perfect. I'm just going to put some hot glue to secure the ribbon. But I love bookmarks. That's that one. And then this one is feathers. Oh, it's coming out. No, let's fix that. This, this is why I um, like to laminate, not laminate, but hot glue my ribbons so that they stay in place and never unravel. But we have another one. And this is probably my favorite. I love the colors. It's so pretty. It's so it's so me and so spring. Okay, what's this? This is a fragrance sachet lily. Okay, so it says enjoy every moment, delight and relax in the pleasures of continuous fine fragrance everywhere you like. So yeah, it's just a fragrance sachet. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. It says use fragrance sachet in bathrooms, trash cans, autos. Um, like your car under the seat vacuum bags closets and gift baskets so i'm probably gonna put this in my garbage bag my garbage can it smells so good though okay so next we have okay so i don't want to look at this but this card here tells you everything that is in the box I don't want to look at that because i don't want to see um and then you have this here which i'm not going to show because it has a number on it but um it's like the little pamphlet she normally sends out with a little bit of like it's, I, I would consider it a devotional but it's also like life lessons sometimes that she's learned um and just fun stuff that you can read throughout the day um so yeah we have that to the side and notepad yes we always get a notepad oh these are so cute this one is cute so i've gotten a white one i've gotten two pink ones and i think two green ones and they had like little images of like uh christmas trees and flowers and stuff like this one says grace and delilah on it that is cute and it is Hebrews 4 16 I'm not sure if it's the same scripture but yellow we love that I'm loving the spring colors okay so I think that's it okay so I flipped the books around on my lap <laughs> but here is the bag emptied out again love it going to add it to my cart with all my other ones but I'm um, so this first one is 
country cooking made easy it's over a thousand delicious recipes for perfect home cooked meals okay i have a bunch of recipe books and what i normally do is i read through the recipe books mark the recipes that i want and then i put them away because i have no space to keep them out so when my family and i move i do plan to have like a specific area in the kitchen where i can put all of my recipe books because there are so many recipes that i want to try out but here's the thing I could cook right but the thing is I don't like to cook because I don't like the cleaning after type of stuff especially when like there's extra dishes outside of the dishes that you use to cook your meals I hope you guys get what I'm saying if y'all are like that let me know I know for me I enjoy cooking I love the like the aspect of cooking and watching the food you know cook but I hate the cleanup because not only am I cleaning the dishes that I use to cook the mess right but then I gotta clean the dishes that everybody else used to eat the food and then half the time you don't ever get to eat your own food because people like eat up all the food before you make a plate is it just me maybe maybe i'm doing things a little wrong now i know that you can cook and clean i know that but then again you still have to clean more dishes after you cook and clean okay that's just me personally but i digress anyways i like recipes i like you know having different things to cook so i make ooh salmon mediterranean Mm, and i love me some salmon y'all salmon cakes yes okay i love me some salmon cakes in here canadian smoked salmon they oh, and i mean this is broken down all right so how is it broken down let's see does it is it like a so you have breakfast and snacks you have egg and cheese soups and chowders salads and vegetables beans and grains fish and seafood poultry and game then you have your meats your pasta your bacon your preserves desserts oh pasta let's go to page 336 oh my god they have like the cute little illustrate illustrations this is not one of those books that has like actual like images of the food which i i'll take that back but um most of the pictures in here are not like they're pretty much illustrations there is a section here i'm gonna turn to where they actually have images of some of the the, the meals and snacks um so like orange pecan muffins apple pan apple pancakes okay that might be something to try hmm. okay peanut butter cookies and of course a lot of this stuff is stuff you already know but um i like having recipes books recipe books anywhere miso soup i really want to try miso soup so bad i watch a lot of like anime i love anime whether it's japanese animes or if it's chinese cartoons because see i know i don't think they call them anime in china and korea i don't know correct me if i'm wrong don't know but um i like anime like those animations that are asian i like those they're awesome i always see them eating like real ramen and miso soup and i always wanted to try them but i'm also nervous to try them so yeah but yes greek salad eggplant casserole i wouldn't eat that smoked salmon oh my god and i mean these look so delicious you guys so i'm excited to actually have this irish stew and if you guys don't know i am part irish <laughs> so yeah roast canada goose now i've never eaten listen the only the only meats i've eaten a cow and chicken from my understanding i've never had horse i've never had goat i've never had duck goose i want to try it but then there's part of me in my brain that's just like why why that's just me um but yeah i'm excited i'm, I'm talking so much about this Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is a a lamb shank. I just, mm -mm. no, thank you. Lemon bread. Okay, I've never heard of that before. I'm I'm just looking through. Okay, we we're enjoying this book. I'm I'm happy I have this. So this one. Okay, so 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 this book here is the one that I saw, and I was like, oh, I really want that book so bad literally i said it to myself like in my spirit i didn't post on like her i don't think i posted on the page and said that i wanted it but like, in my spirit i was like i really really want that book because this is one book that i've been like putting in my cart taking out i go on amazon put it in my cart take it out I go back to thrift books put it in my cart and take it out and i enjoyed this author's book um the one iscariot which is based on judas iscariot by Toscali. i enjoyed it so much it was thoroughly enjoyable i liked her fictionalization of judas and what he could have been like i enjoyed that so i was like you know what i really enjoy her writing i really want to try other books from her i have a lot of her ebooks but i haven't gotten to them and i'm just like do i buy the physical books first and then hope i like them enough to and like give them at least a four star three star rating or do i just read the ebooks and then if i like them buy the physical books 
I was in that dilemma but then I saw this book and I was like Lord please I hope I could get this book and I did and Lord thank you and again thank you to Taylor Hill for even sending this to me like mind blown but um it's Hava by Tasca Lee and this one is the story of Eve so if you guys haven't seen me talk about Judas um her book on Judas which is Iscariot I will leave a link you can just click the eye on the screen actually to go to my wrap up I think it was my January wrap up where I talked about that book um but yeah this one is the story of Eve she has another book called Demon and then she has the book um Queen of Sheba I really want all of them um, I have the ebooks, like I said, but I want to own every last one. And I did have Queen of Sheba, um, but yeah, there was a little mishap with that. So, yeah, so we have this little card, which is all about her books. Love that. I know she writes suspense as well. I'm debating if I want to get into suspense. I do own a few of her um, arcs through NetGalley for her suspense novels, but I just, I don't know. But um, this is actually even better because it's signed she signed it guys they're signed copies and i am ecstatic you you guys don't understand i'm ecstatic i'm excited to read this um it says a, a single decision has the power to unravel mankind created not born the world's first woman without flaw until one fatal choice now all humanity must pay for the mistake from paradise to exile from immoral immortality excuse me to the death of adam experience the dawn of mankind through the eyes of eve the woman first known as hava i'm not sure where the name hava came from honestly i don't know much about eve outside of what we learned in genesis but um this is definitely going to spark an interest for me to actually dive deep into a woman's study on eve and i definitely want to do a woman's based study here on the channel where i'm going through the various women of the bible it's something that's been on my heart and it's just a matter of me actually like getting that list together because what i don't want to do is i don't want to go through women that we already know a lot about but i also want to try to balance it between women we don't know and women we do know so like i'm trying to work that out but i am excited to own this copy oh my god i can't wait to read it i'm interested to see how it's written especially being that you know it's eve like the mother of mothers um i'm excited I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, okay? So, yes, we have that. So, how do I feel? Do I gotta say how I feel? I'm sorry about the camera shaking, but y'all know how I feel, right? I love this box, like, and again, I'm not getting paid for these videos. I'm not getting commission from these videos. Like, no, I'm literally just expressing my love for these book boxes. They are awesome, literally. I think total, if you include shipping, the book box is going to run you like $34. It's $29 and some change plus five dollars of domestic shipping so i think it's awesome and she does have it now where you can just purchase books alone on her website and the books are not high priced at all so if you don't want a full box you can just get the book itself just go on her website everything is linked down below um i love it i recommend it i think it's amazing for yourself as a gift for other people you always get anywhere from two to three books sometimes you get three books i think there was one box when i got three books i can't remember but um I love them. I, I truly enjoy the fact that she sends these. And a lot of, of course, the lot of biblical fic a lot of the biblical fiction books that she sends, I mostly have already, of course. But, um, you know, the last two, I think I didn't have copies of. Last month, she sent me um, the one from Angela Hunt. Oh, my God. Cannot think of the name. But it's the newest book from Angela Hunt. It's on the screen, that title. Um, I have that. So stoked for that. And now I have a book that I have been wanting for forever, and it's Hava. And this is going on my shelf with the other book over there. Now, if I enjoy this enough, I'm definitely going to purchase um, Queen of Sheba and Demon, um, which are like, Demon is like a memoir fictional, fictionalized story. And the way that I think about it, I feel like Demon is written kind of like C.S. Lewis's The Screwtape Letters, which I totally loved that book by c.s lewis like i want to buy a physical copy of that book by itself because it was so good so good and the bind up that i have i think i'm going to use a bind up to like do all my notes and but i think i want to buy like an actual single copy of the screw tape letters because it was so good but anyway talking about this book box i love it i truly appreciate taylor for even sending this to me like i was not expecting it um, I, I never expected any, you know, like, cause like I said, in my mind, it, the last month was March. So now when they come, I'm just like, wait, what? Huh? Like, I literally like get shocked and, um, I truly, truly appreciate it, Taylor. It, it, it is amazing that I'm still even getting these and I'm loving the books. Like, 
<laughs> book nerd me two thumbs up but um that is it for this video you're you know the next video you guys see i will have the proper setup i just didn't feel like putting it up today it's one of those days and it's hot outside now i haven't been outside i just had to open the door for some mail but um i it, i've heard it's hot out there i might go sit on my front porch um just for a little while to read because i haven't even been reading that's how you know it's not a good week when i don't read a book at all at all and I read uh, literally a day. I read three to four books a day. I have not read any books this week, you guys. So, yeah, I'm about to go make me some coffee. I'm about to sit down and play some more on my Switch. And, um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. So, if you are not a part of the family, join Become a Dota of Increase or a Son of Increase. If you are a part of the family, click the bell to stay notified. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.